Today we're gonna to be talking about the whole Phoenix metro area and it is much more vast than a lot of people think. Not just Phoenix, but the whole surrounding metro area. We wanna show you some of the hidden gems that a lot of people, not even locals know about. So let's get into it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. I'm and if you're new here, I'm Ryan. I'm this Kyle. is Kyle and we love That's helping me. people relocate here or even if you're here, find the perfect spot for you. That's what we love to do. So just wanna make sure that you know this is what we specialize in. But enough of that, let's talk about Phoenix. So why don't we start Central? Absolutely. Central Phoenix, how would you categor categorize like right in the heart of Phoenix? Who does that attract? Who likes that part? Of this area so the heart of phoenix is i would say is going to be more for people who want to be closer to the action right you always hear people like i want to live where the the city life is right yep. that kind of herb that not the urban sprawl but more of the density of traffic of you're going to have shops you're going to have right city you, feel you, you have see, skyscrapers you have every single thing within like five minutes from you, right? A lot of young professionals get attracted to Central Phoenix. There's going to be a lot of hustle and bustle. You're going to have more condos. You're going to have more apartments. Mm -hmm. There are some Town housing homes. there. Townhomes. You're going to get some luxury uh, condos and townhomes as well. And the one thing about Phoenix too is because Phoenix is so big, you're going to have central located Phoenix where it might be in the heart of downtown. And that's going to be where you're not going to really many houses, you know, per se, that's going to be more your high rises, your luxury condos, whatever. But there's also central parts of Phoenix that maybe on the outskirts of downtown, but still centrally located that will have more of a housing feel like your Arcadia area, right? Right. I mean, that's which is hot, 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 hot right hot now area and it's older homes. But that area, because it's so centrally located to everything, people were flocking to get in. A lot of remodels, a lot a of lot build of up there. And the houses are just beautiful in that area because they have a lot of history, but then they're being redone to be modern on the inside and even modern to some degree on the outside. So it's not uncommon for people to spend a million dollars on a nice house, or I wouldn't say a nice house, on a house and a lot in Arcadia and even the kind of surrounding, like going in the Biltmore area, especially Arcadia, where they will buy it for a million dollars and they tear the house completely down. I'm not talking a remodel. I'm talking demolish it. Demolish. It's not uncommon. I, I, it blows me away because what happened is it was getting hard to find houses and space in that area, but they knew that, okay, this house needs a lot of work. Mm -hmm. It's old, it needs plumbing, it pretty much needs everything. They tear it down, they build one up, they make it nice, they get a modern feel, and they could either A, turn around and sell it for 1.5 to two mm -hmm. and make money, or they keep it for themselves and there they go. Right. But, I mean, that's just something to know that like, your centrally located parts of Phoenix outside of downtown are going to generally be a little more hot, if you will, depending yep. on the area. Yep. Um, that's as long as it's been upkept enough. Um, but it, it's a battle to get in yep. and you have roadblocks to face because of Right, those roadblocks. So we, we talked about Central. So now let's expand out a little bit. So if we talk about North Scottsdale compared to, or North Phoenix compared to South Phoenix, mm. how would you differentiate those two? Who do those areas attract and how does that differ from Central? Yeah, that's a good question. Now. Let's start with South Phoenix. Yep. South Phoenix, as you get closer to the South Mountain, you're going to go down into areas like Levine uh, and Maricopa. Maricopa. Yep. Yeah. Maricopa is really far south and it's going like southeast. And then you're going to have even Ahwatukee on the other side of South Mountain. Yep. Now, Ahwatukee is nice. Maricopa is building. Building, yep. Levine is building. Levine is building and, and they've already kind of a good establishment there. Uh, Levine is going to be more of your centrally located area where people can move to and not be so far where someone like Mar somewhere like Maricopa. A little further out. It's farther out. A lot of yep. people have to be the right situation to move to Maricopa because there's only one road going in. Right. One road coming out. You can imagine if there's a crash, well, it's not fun. <laughs> it locks up. But you get more bang for your buck as you yes, can Yes, you do. Now, if you go more into to you're, you're coming what we would consider what we all used to consider south phoenix older area Correct. you have a little bit more areas where there's not hoa so it can be a little bit more run down but there has been a lot of development where people are redoing the houses making it nicer and there's been new builds in certain pockets new, as well yeah new builds it, it, just random pockets like old home old home boom new builds right in the middle uh, right in their nice communities because it used to be the talk of the town is you stay away from South Phoenix and that really, they've been getting away from that stigma because of the new builds, because of the, the renovation. So it is becoming a more desirable area because it is less expensive mm -hmm. than Central. 
Mm -hmm. So now if we talk Definitely, about absolutely. north, how does north compare to the south? So North Phoenix is nine day different than the South. And, and North Phoenix has a place in my heart because I live in that North Central part of Phoenix, yep. uh, right along the 51 off Glendale Avenue. Right where we're at right now? We're pretty much right where we're in at. your backyard. I mean, we're in, this this mountain your, view is your backyard. My wife, I could throw a rock and almost hit my wife's work and we're about five minutes away from and we have, where I live. I mean, that's Camelback behind us right there, which we should have said, that is Arcadia. That's an Arcadia slash. Right there. Right, and kind of going to Paradise Valley as well. That's where right all there. the young, hip kids are dying to live. And you can see how beautiful it is, and that's why. But yep. beautiful, but you can't pay for it. But we're talking point about North Phoenix. So my uh, brother-in-law and sister-in-law, they live up in North Phoenix. I have seen that place since 2017 just blow up. Mm -hmm. It used to be like on the boonies, kind of like you move far out, like the farther out you go, you get more land, you get like retirement, you kind of like some families go as well, but not as, not as busy. Right. But now it's getting to the point where you have a lot more new built communities. You have more master plan communities coming in. You have more stuff for actual young families to raise families or raise kids and children. You have some pinnacle high schools up there, which is like very well known for their sports. It's good school systems up there as well. So it's gone from being like, oh, old people retire to now being, well, young families. And right. it reminds me so much, which we'll talk about in a second, the East Valley and Gilbert mm. and Chandler. Same before, vibe, same Before feel. they blew. Uh, Absolutely. It's almost like you're getting in a little early Absolutely. if you're there. A 100%. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. And what's another thing real quick about that North Phoenix is if you go up North Phoenix and you go up towards like Cave Creek, or if you go even more north towards Anthem, that is especially where you're gonna be more of your kind of retired community. It is not just a retired community, like I said, all that's growing, but that is especially where uh, when people reach out saying, hey, I wanna live somewhere kind of in that area, mm -hmm. but not, you know, in a more like retired kind of sense, more a little slower. beautiful scenery, slower, beautiful yep. scenery, because out there, you're gonna have mountain views, you're gonna have trails, you're gonna have, Kind of like what we're right here in a way. And, and where would you say, like in terms of like streets, so people can get a visualization when we show the map? Where is that? So if you well, Anthem, if you just take the 17 all the way up, like you're going towards Flagstaff, mm -hmm. that's going to run into Anthem, and that's going to be in that kind of north North Phoenix area, right? Right. And, and you're going to have other neighborhoods and suburbs around there as well. But if you go up to Cave Creek, that is going to be on your way, kind of between North Phoenix and North Scottsdale. Yep. Okay. And then what your Cave Creek is, if you go up past the 101, north of the 101, then there's a road called Cave Creek. <laughs> Imagine that. You're going to take that all the way up to Cave Creek, um, and then you're in Cave Creek. But also in that area, you can also get a little more uh, east, and that's going to take you into North Scottsdale area. Right. And that kind of all has that kind of feel, which is what makes it so, I think, unique. I, I love it because right. it's got that, like, and Scottsdale, North Scottsdale is East like Valley where Valley. people have just dreamed of and desire to retire at. It's just so nice. It's so beautiful. Tons of golf courses. Tons. And nice golf courses. You, you have a little bit more seclusion than you do if you're more in, in the heart of Scottsdale or the heart of Phoenix. And it's just one of those beautiful places, but you're still close enough that you can get to the city. You can right. get to central Scottsdale. And then it gets interesting because now we can go northeast and we're in Fountain Hills. Absolutely. Which is a Absolutely. totally different right. feel, different vibe, older. Gorgeous. But gorgeous it is place. gorgeous. It's like very similar to what we see back here where a lot of mountain views, you're, you're actually driving up in the mountains, but way less traffic. Absolutely. Way less traffic. And, and what's cool about Fountain Hills is, is when you go up and then you have views like this, you don't have kind of like you're looking out into the desert even more. You don't have city behind you. Right? No city. You're kind of like you're driving, you're leaving the city. And as you look out, it's like that was what goes into the big desert. But there's right. big mountains, big desert views, and you're sitting high up. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love when I'm showing homes there because I just love it. It also has that, it's known for that big fountain, right? The big, yeah, and the that's cool at first. There's a huge fountain and it's known for that. But I love it because of the, the views of the McDowell mountain range and yep. all of that stuff out there. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And it is a very well-known retirement, retirement community as well. because of the quietness. Um, but I know some people that live out there for, for families, but I would not recommend young families because it's not as you're not as out there. Yeah, you're not as school many schools, system, not right. as close to be like you have the you're one limited. road, you're just limited. you know, to get yeah, in and out. You're definitely limited a little bit. 
And, um, but if you like that feel, but not quite as secluded, now we get into North Mesa. Mm. It's going to be similar. You're not as secluded. You're not right in like the heart of the mountain, it feels like. Right. But there are mountain trails up in Las Indes. Oh. Las Indes Love is Las one Indes. of my favorite yeah. subdivisions. Absolutely. And they have a great trail. We call it Haas Trail. That's where I go to do a lot of my mountain bike riding or South Mountain, which is in South Phoenix. And that area is absolutely gorgeous. Like you are living in desert. It is all desert landscape. Your house is in desert landscape. Great schools in that area. So there's a lot of families and people retired. So it's a great mix. Very much so. And it's built up a lot in the last 10 to 15 years where you have a lot of restaurants. You have a lot of things to do up in that North Mesa area. And then it's going to be a little pricier though than if we get into Central Mesa. Mm -hmm. Central Mesa is much older, much smaller homes. Um, really the HOAs are sparse. So in terms of maintenance and, and upkeep, you're gonna have pockets where it's gonna be less maintained, right. less grass, right. less pristine, but it comes with a deal. Yeah. A lot of people have investment properties in that heart of Mesa because they were able to get them at a great deal and they rent all the time. Mm -hmm. I've talked to so many people and clients that buy properties there. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to talk about located, yeah. where we go, and if we go a little bit East Mesa, that's where the deals are because you're right on that border of Gilbert. And so I've bought houses there because you're right on the cusp, but it's about $150,000 tax or so as soon as you cross over baseline into Gilbert. Isn't it crazy? Right as you cross over. It's crazy. 150,000 plus tax just because you go into Gilbert. And if you want to talk a little bit about Gilbert yeah. and what you think about Gilbert compared to Mesa. So Gilbert, it's, Gilbert's Gilbert. Like it's one of those things like you can't, it's, like, it's its own ecosystem. How do you describe Gilbert? Well, Gilbert is Gilbert. It, Gilbert has just grown so, so much in the last 20 years. It is where families go. It's where families go to have safe areas, safe neighborhoods, great schools. Yep. Um, they've also brought in some like a good vibe to it. So now it's not just a quiet place where it's just boring. It's actually got some great areas to go. Uh, you know, if you want to go eat somewhere nice, like a trendy area, if you want to go to a nice little uh, bar, restaurant, whatever the case, you just have so much more. And I would say what Gilbert has compared to, say, Mesa is Gil uh, Gilbert is going to have a little bit more newer communities. Much You're newer. You're going to have a little more newer master plan communities, more... Um, more HOAs. Bigger lots as well. Definitely more HOAs. There are some pockets of Gilbert that are still older homes that are still gorgeous. They're big lot areas that won't have as many, but you're definitely going to have more HOA. You're going to have, uh, when they went through the early 2000s, when they went through the big boom in Gilbert, you're going to have a lot of cookie cutter style homes, which is great. Mm -hmm. If you just need something simple, right. you're going to get a little better deal versus somewhere where you're moving to where it's, you know. Yeah. Everything's pristine in Gilbert. It's like, home. I compare it. It's like the, the family version of Scottsdale is how I compare it. It's very similar. It's like kind of where families are, but has a, a feel of Scottsdale. And, you know, we've been going for a while here and we, we even have more to go. That's what's crazy about all the areas of Phoenix. So big. And so that's the point. That's why we make these videos is we want to help you decide what's the best area for you. Absolutely. What is your goals? Are you trying to raise a family? Are you trying to start a career? Are you trying to do all of those things and we help place you in the area that's going to be best for your goals your desires and that's what we do yeah. is we help you find that perfect home in the perfect area mm -hmm. and we're here all the time you can always email us you can call us you can text us at any time reach out we love helping families we've helped hundreds of families buy homes relocate mm -hmm. in this area and we love to do that for you Absolutely. and i want to say one, one more thing before we move on is this is just an overview we right. haven't even dug deep into right. these areas so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our deep dives. And we've already done some. You can look at our channel. We did a deep dive in Gilbert. You should see one in Tempe. And we have others that we've already done. So you can go to that video after this one. And so maybe we do a quick little push to the, the south, a little bit more southeast into to, uh, Queen Creek and Santan. And then we're going to take a 180 and we're going to hit the other side real quick. And this is kind of how it feels like living in Phoenix. Yeah. I mean, Phoenix is so big, like you said. You have to know what you're looking for yes. when you come here. And that's what we're trying to do here. So Queen Creek, Santan Valley, that is that is right next to my house about to blow off, so just bear with me here a second. Here. That area is, that, that area is almost like what it's like an extension of Gilbert. So I remember when Queen Creek was almost like an extension of Gilbert. Yep. It kept getting far south because that's where 
back in the day, people used to go when they say, uh, drive till you qualify. You heard that before, right? Yep. Um, drive till you qualify. And that's where Queen Creek kind of really got popular because you get like really big homes back in the day for super cheap. And so it really got popular for that families moving out there. And then it's New Gilbert. There, it basically is. And now it's one of the hottest places in the U.S. It's grown a lot. It's definitely not a drive till you qualify type place. There's some areas you might get a little more bang for your buck, but not as much as it used to be. Right. That then turned into Santan Valley. And then into Florence. Because it keeps going. So now then it's and Florence. And then Santan Valley goes into Florence. Now, I would tell someone, those areas you have to be. We'll get it goes later. My hat. We'll, we'll get, get it in later. a second. So, oh my God, I'm bald. They know. Just, uh, <laughs> so those areas are very, like Santan Valley, Florence, even Queen Creek. You have to know where you're working. Are you okay with the drive? If you're going to be going more centrally area, more than you need to make that sense because not everyone especially Santa Ana Valley it's far it's yep. far and, and especially Florence so you have to keep that in mind but those areas are growing you're gonna get more bang for your buck you're gonna have a little more communities new builds master plan communities out there a lot of deals going on right now because of these new builds that are popping up that we're getting our clients amazing deals on but I tell someone if you're wanting a new build master plan community that's where you want to start going yep. and you get a good deal that's where it goes. And now Florence, real quick, yep. Florence, no one likes Florence. I, I understand <laughs> it because it's, there, there is a prison there. And that's what it's known for, especially locals <laughs> like Florence. But I'm telling you this, they are building up so much, you wouldn't even know there's a, a prison My sister there. lives there and she loves it. I'm telling you, I've said this, I told some people this five years ago when I helped some clients buy a house for super cheap. I said, if I had a lot of money just sitting around doing nothing, I would just buy in Florence and sit on it. Well, I wish I did because that house I wanted was now double. Yep. It is growing. Communities are popping up. Their new builds are popping up. Good homes are popping up. So that area is only a matter of time before it becomes the new country. 100%. Absolutely. And that's the beauty of this. It just keeps expanding. And so there are places to get deals. If you work remote, wow. It opens up Absolutely. so many options for you to get a smoking deal compared to being central. So we did central, north, east, kind of south. Now let's head all the way to the west. Okay. And we're going to talk about West Phoenix. Well, who is West Side? West, <laughs> West Side? West Side? <laughs> That's what we used to always say about West Phoenix back in the West Side, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was really West what we Side, said growing up. East Side. Oh, absolutely. It's West Side, East Side. Who's the West Side for? So, West Side. That's a, good, that's a, that's a loaded question. It so, is a loaded question. Yeah, that's a tough question to answer. You got me on the spot. So, West Side is. has. All of Phoenix has grown in areas now where if you go on the far outer banks of the west side, yep. like you can go into the Buckeye areas, you can go into Verado areas, you can go even into um, Avondale areas, Litchfield Park, which I kind of like. That's a hidden gem. Litchfield yep. Park is small. It's, it's I wouldn't say small, but it kind of is a small little suburb in that west side that um, it's, it's, yeah, like it's not like... I, it's just nice. A lot of people try to get in. Under the, yeah. Lost for words because it doesn't feel like West Valley. Right. Um, and then when you go above, when you go right above Litchfield Park and kind of that middle below Peoria or kind of like South Peoria area, that's going to be a little older homes. That's going to be a little, I, I just always say it's a little more of your congestion, if that's a good way of putting it. Okay. It's just older. You're going to, I don't like driving through it a lot on the service streets because of the congestion and it's just a little more older and you have less say people renovating down. yeah it's just a little it's just there's pockets that are fantastic in there like anywhere that, yeah but there's definitely pockets that um let's just say some clients are always like let's just steer away from that and go up north to north peoria or we can stay down into goodyear area we can go down into uh buckeye area as well but there's just some parts of that that again it helps knowing someone that can I'm not gonna steer you you can right you go where you want i'm not here to steer you but I want to educate you on. But one person's no is another you, person's opportunity. 100%. Because all of these areas, not all of these, but a lot of areas have been not as desirable. And now all of a sudden they're desirable because people are coming in. They're renovating. They go, oh, I can get a deal. And then another person goes, I can get a deal. They renovate it. Now it becomes the new hip popular thing. So if you're ahead of the curve, if you're a forward thinker, these areas are great for people like that. So... Real quick, like kind of like not talking about the west side, but real quick, I live kind of where we are right now in that like north central Phoenix area. There's a little suburb called Sunny Slope, 
which I'm right on the edge of. Yep. And that area is still lagging behind in terms of investors coming in and kind of redoing it. But it's also been known as being your less desirable place, if you will, right? Mm -hmm. But again, that's an area just like what you said. I was telling people the last few years, now that I live right by it and this area is gorgeous, it is only a matter of time until that place blows up. And it, we are already seeing that. We are already seeing Sunny Slope homes go for a lot more than than what we thought in just in a couple years because investors are coming in, they're getting the homes done right, and now more people follow. So I always say, if you are looking for investment side of Phoenix, like to buy that style of home, definitely talk to us because you need to know if you can be where before all the money injects. Right. That is where you make a lot of your where money. Where are the opportunities? Because if you come in like Arcadia, at one point used to be where you can get investments. Right. Right. No one wanted now, to be there. Now, can't. It's Everybody. not really an investment place because it's already. Back. So if you go somewhere before all the investors come, now you are the fourth finger and you can sit on it. You can get it better. And, and, but that has to be up to your appetite. So right. back to the west side, real quick. I used to uh, work for a real estate team on specialized in the West Valley, and it opened my eyes to parts of the West Valley, especially on the north part of the West Valley. I'm talking like North Peoria. Love, love, love North Peoria. <laughs> I never thought I would say that because I always was used to kind of your South Peoria, right? right. Um, north Peoria to me is like a less expensive, but, you know, but still pricey in areas and less congested Scottsdale. Mm, okay. I mean, I've yeah, seen I some see homes and neighborhoods. I'm talking wide streets. Nice lots, homes, quiet neighborhoods, um, luxury homes as well. You got fine dining. You got a lot of options and in, in places to be like that Scottsdale, right? Because Scottsdale has that, especially North Scottsdale, that luxury shopping, luxury restaurants, luxury yep. feel, luxury, luxury, luxury is kind of the feel for it. Exactly. North Peoria is a not as high end luxury right <laughs> right but with a luxury feel if that makes sense i, I just i love north peoria because then as you go even more north you get closer to lake um peoria and you get up to that high that area where you got yep. a, away from everything and so you get a lot of people up there who have boats um they want to have an rv gate yes. because they want to park their boat and that's a lot of people. goes back to lifestyle that's it you tell us what lifestyle you want what budget you have and we will help you find the right home Absolutely. in the right area and we'd love it's to help so you do that. Just reach out, email, That's call, text. We're always here for you. So is, easy. Is there any, so we easy. just make it easy. It's so easy. <laughs> I would say the last thing I would say is like, and just like you said, once we know what you're looking for, it helps. But the biggest differentiator is going, if you, are you looking here to retire? Right. Are you looking here to raise a family? Or are you kind of just in that in-between where it's like, I kind of have a family, but I'm close to retirement. I want that quiet lifestyle, but just, you know what I'm saying? Like that in-between. Right. And that's where we can say, well, if you want that in-between quiet, slash you're going to go here on the, you know, North Peoria. If you want that popping lifestyle where it's like, you, you know. You're in the mix, you're in the baby. Mix, well, maybe go look in the Arcadia area. Go look uh, closer to Phoenix. Maybe look in Tempe, right? If you, you know what I'm saying? That, that is really the, the value of knowing all of Phoenix. Um, and that's the value that we want to bring and show you with these videos. Exactly. So make sure if you're not subscri subscribed, subscribe right now so you can see a deep dive into each one of these areas in way more detail. And if you like this video, you're going to love the one over Kyle's face. <laughs> Next. It's right. Oh, no. By bald head. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. That was good. We killed it. See, I'm, I love that style.